Embracing the bot lane role means embracing the power of champion combos. What's going on summoners, my name is Crumbs and today we're going to be taking a look at 5 of the best bot duos to carry with. These pairings will give you a massive advantage while also making the game a bit more fun for you and your duo. We'll be breaking down why they work so well, any synergies they have, and we'll give you a build rundown so you can try them out yourselves. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got Neela and Yumi. This bot lane pairing has been growing in popularity as more and more people learn what Neela is capable of. Her unique playstyle and clunky feel often drives players away from learning her. When paired with an enchanter, Neela can easily be one of the best laners in the game as well as a powerful teamfighter. Her passive allows her to boost her allies' healing and experience. Pair that strong passive with someone like Yumi and you've got a duo that can take on anyone. Yumi is able to increase Neela's AD, use her poke to gain HP advantages, and her healing is significantly increased. Plus, Yumi takes two battle summoners so they can quickly turn the tides of that alone. Overall, if you were thinking of learning Neela, make sure your duo picks up Yumi for a strong laning phase. Let's quickly take a look at a good build for both champions before we move. Diving into Neela's itemization, you're going to be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Cleanse as your summoner's spells. Cleanse is a great option when dealing with hard CC, but Heal can really help during those early game skirmishes. Your runes will be Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Sudden Impact, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will give you a massive amount of sustain and snowball power, especially thanks to Yumi. Finally, your items will consist of Ravenous Hydra, Berserker's Greaves, Shield Bow, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, and finish off with Lord Dominix for Armor Pen, Death Stance for Survivability, or Bloodthirster for Sustain. As for Yumi's build, you'll be taking your choice of Heal, Exhaust, and Ignite as your summoner spells. If your AD carry opts for Cleanse, you can take Heal and Exhaust. For your runes, be sure to take Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Presence of Mind, and Cut Down. These runes will help you with the early laning phase by increasing your damage and mana sustain. Be sure to build Moonstone, Camtech Putrefire, Staff of Flowing Water, your choice of Mikael's or Ardent, and finish off with a Watchful Wardstone. Oh, and don't forget to start with a Spell Thief so you can get your wards ASAP. Before we continue on to our next dynamic duo, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new course and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry, we have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive back into the video. Pulling us back in, we've got Caitlyn and Lux. Our older Caitlyn mains know that this lane is just a newer version of Caitlyn Morgana. Unfortunately, with how weak she is at the moment, Morgana is completely outclassed by Lux. This pairing is able to constantly maintain wave priority and shove you under turret. While you're struggling to get CS, they're able to harass you and constantly take plates. With your massive early lead, Caitlyn and Lux can take over the map by sieging and getting objective control. Overall, if you're looking for an extremely aggressive bot lane that loves to 2v3, be sure to check these two out. Also, remember to ward often because this lane gets a lot of jungle attention. Let's quickly take a look at their builds. For Caitlyn, you're going to be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust as your summoner spells. Heal is a great default summoner, but be sure to take Exhaust if you're facing bursty champions. Your runes will consist of Fleet, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Absolute Focus, and Gathering Storm. These runes will give you some nice early game sustain and trading power while also giving you late game scaling. Finally, your items will be Gale Force, Berserker's Greaves, Rapid Fire Cannon, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominix, and Guardian Angel. Moving on to Lux, you're going to be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. Feel free to take Exhaust if necessary, but we wouldn't recommend it. Your runes will be Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter. Similar to Caitlyn, these runes significantly bump up your early game while also offering passive scaling. You'll be starting the game with a Spell Thief's Edge and two potions. Afterwards, you'll be looking to build Ludens, Sork Shoes, Shadow Flame, Zhonya's, and Rabadon's. Moving on to our next duo, we've got Varus and Karma. This powerful pair is known in the competitive scene for their ability to get wave priority, take aggressive fights, and overall win nearly every lane. 
While it can be difficult to get used to at first, utilizing both of their kits properly makes the game really hard for the enemy. Varus is able to utilize his ultimate to pick off enemies and easily clear entire waves. Karma offers a powerful early game that not only gives you wave prio, but she also deals quite a bit of damage thanks to her mantra Q. Together, they can kite out an enemy and rotate to every objective. Overall, if you want to follow what the pros are doing, be sure to watch out for Varus and Karma. Let's take a look at both of their builds before we move on. For Varus, you're going to be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust. Heal is great for lane presence, but Exhaust will help out a ton when facing assassins as Karma can't always peel as hard. Your runes will consist of Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These runes are meant to let you survive and play aggressive in the early game. Later on, you'll easily ramp up Lethal Tempo and wipe the enemy team. Finally, your build will be Shield Bow, Berserker's Greaves, and Rage Blade as your core items. Pick up either Wit's End or Blade of the Ruin King depending on if you need MR or Tank Shred. Then finish off your build with a Bloodthirster and Guardian Angel. Diving into Karma's build, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. Your runes will be Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. You can use these runes to take aggressive trades with the enemy while keeping yourself healthy. Be sure to start the game off with a Spell Thief's Edge. Afterwards, you'll be building Shirelius, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Staff of Flowing Water, and Watchful Wardstone. Now before we move on, let's not forget about our favorite Pro Guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what is your favorite fun bot duo? Personally, I love doing a transforming lane with Nara and Nidalee. It was never any good, but man was it fun. Regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comments section down below what your favorite is and why. Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Up next, we've got Samira and Rel. Since her release, Samira has been a powerful laner that can easily take advantage of any support with crowd control. While she does well with most, she is able to really shine when paired with Rel. As a champion, Rel sees very little play because she's extremely punishing compared to others. With Samira by her side, however, Rel is able to safely look for plays and will always have the follow-up. Samira can engage fights with her E, then have Rel stun them before fully committing. Overall, Samira and Rel are a deadly bot duo that take a lot of practice to master. That being said, they can easily dominate most lanes. Let's break down both of their builds. For Samira, you're going to be taking Flash and your choice of Exhaust or Cleanse. Exhaust is a great standard due to your dueling nature, but Cleanse can really help versus enchanters that love taking Exhaust to counter you. For your runes, you'll be running Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Eyeball Collection, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will give you a lot of skirmish power and even more snowball potential thanks to the Domination Tree. Finally, your items will be Shield Bow, Plated Steel Caps, Collector, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominix, and finish off with either Death Stance for Long Fight Sustain or Guardian Angel for Burst. As for Rel, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. Your runes will be Glacial, Hextech Flash Traption, Minion Dematerializer, Cosmic Insight, Font of Life, and Unflinching. These runes will give you a lot of sticking power and some great engage angles. Be sure to utilize your Hex Flash in lane. Start the game with a Relic Shield, then look to build Even Shroud, Plated Steel Caps, Knight's Vow, Thorn Mail, and Turbo Chem Tank. Your last item is pretty flexible, so you can swap it out for whatever you or your team may need. Finishing up our primary list, we've got none other than Lucian and Nami. Ever since Lucian's mini rework, this duo has been extremely strong. Back when Nami could run Electrocute, they could easily burst an enemy level 1 and win the game off of it. While Nami has had her Electrocute synergy removed, Lucian Nami players have continued to adapt. They have resurfaced with yet another powerful build that allows them to synergize with each other and completely dominate the laning phase. As the game goes on, Lucian grows in strength and can nearly one-tap any squishy champion that dares to exist in his range. Overall, if you're looking for a pair of champions that are strong yet require teamwork, then you should check those two out. Let's quickly dive into their builds. For Lucian, you're going to be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust. Some Lucian players opt for Cleanse in order to counter the enemy AD carry taking Exhaust, but we only expect this in high elos. Your runes are going to be First Strike, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Mana Flow Band, and Scorch. 
these runes make Lucian extremely oppressive with Nami. Be sure to start W in lane so you can take advantage of the rune and get a lot of early damage. Finally, for your items, you'll be building Gale Force, Berserker's Greaves, Essence Reaver, Infinity Edge, Rapid Fire Cannon, and your choice of Lord Dominix for Armor Pen or Guardian Angel for survivability. Once you get to Rapid Fire Cannon, you can dash towards the enemy with Gale Force and Nami E in order to delete them. Speaking of Nami, you're going to be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, be sure to take Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These runes are pretty standard for Nami as they offer a nice bit of sustain, damage, and gold. You'll be starting the game with two potions and spell thieves so you can get wards ASAP. Afterwards, be sure to build Imperial Mandate, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Staff of Flowing Water, and Watchful Wardstone. Before we continue on to the end of the video, climbing can be hard and sometimes you'll need help or just someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that love lists, talk pieces and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Pulling us into the end of the video, we've got our honorable mention with Zeri and Janna. Zeri recently received yet another rework and she has been doing far better since then. She offers a stronger early game and can actually contest Wave Prio again. While she may need a few adjustments to be fully a healthy champion again, it seems Riot is on the right path. Janna pairs extremely well with Zeri here, not only because of their movement speed, but because of how good Janna's kit is. Janna is a fairly well-rounded support that offers some of the best disengage in the game while also being able to stand her ground in lane. Pair this with Zeri's fairly weak early game and you've got someone who can carry her to her two item power spike. Overall, if you want a duo that's looking to relax and farm early so they can become monsters in the late game, be sure to check these two out. Taking a look at both of their builds, let's start off with Zeri. You'll be taking Flash and your choice of Heal or Exhaust as your summoner spells. A few high-ranking Zeri players take Ghost when paired with Janna due to your guaranteed early protection, but we recommend you get used to her first. Your runes are going to consist of Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Conditioning, and Overgrowth. These runes don't offer much early game power, but once you reach the mid to late game, you can easily dominate the map. Finally, for your items, be sure to build Shield Bow, Berserker's Greaves, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominix, and your choice of Guardian Angel for survivability or Bloodthirster for sustain. Moving on to Janna's build, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Ignite or Exhaust. Ignite is a great default, but sometimes you'll need the extra protection from Exhaust. Your runes are going to be Glacial, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Font of Life, and Revitalize. These runes are really good on Janna thanks to her rework Tornadoes. She can disengage the enemy by knocking them up and then Glacial effectively slows everyone around the main target. For your items, be sure to start the game with a Spell Thief so you can get wards ASAP. Afterwards, you'll be building Moonstone, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Redemption and Watchful Wardstone. If you have a team that heavily relies on attack speed, you can also opt for Ardent Sensor instead of Redemption. And that sums up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP gods smile down upon you.